A DHCP server can be configured to provide IP addresses in a number of different ways. One very common way is something called a dynamic allocation. A dynamic allocation is one where the DHCP server just has a big pool of IP addresses. When somebody comes onto the network, it just assigns an IP address to that device. When the device lease period is up or the device leaves the network, then that particular IP address is then handed back to the DHCP server, and then it can hand it out to someone else dynamically at any other time. There's also a method called an automatic allocation, which is a very similar process to that dynamic allocation. But what the DHCP server tries to do is keep a list of all of the past assignments. And if you ever show up on the network again, it's going to reserve and hold that particular IP address just for you and give you exactly the same IP address you had the last time you were here. That automatic allocation obviously is less efficient with its IP addresses. But if you have a very large pool of IP addresses available, to you. It's a very smart way to almost guarantee that you're going to get the same IP address every time you connect to the network. There is also a static allocation of IP addresses that you can configure inside of your DHCP server. You would go in and define the MAC addresses that you would expect to see on the network and manually assign or statically allocate an IP address just for that MAC address. This is a very common thing to do if you're setting up certain servers. And it also becomes very easy to administer later if you ever need to make any changes. So you've now got a big table of MAC addresses and IP addresses that are associated with that MAC address. And you may see this listed as other names as well. It could be listed as static DHCP assignment or static DHCP or address reservations or IP reservations. But it is effectively the same thing where you have defined a MAC address and you've paired it with a very specific IP address. If you look at your DHCP server, you should see something like this address reservation functionality. This is my router, which is also acting as my DHCP server. And you can see I've allocated a large pool of addresses. Anybody who connects to my wireless network or my wired network will get an IP address of 192.168.1.2 through 192.168.1.254. But I've also got two devices where I've created address reservations. And I've, ever, I've said, if you ever see this MAC address, the 10.9ADD490F Charlie 5. That's my Prometheus server. And always give that the IP address of 192.168.1.6. If you ever see this MAC address, that's my Odyssey device. Always give it the IP address of 192.168.1.9. Now this becomes very easy for me to manage. I can, of course, always guarantee that I'm going to get those IP addresses every time I connect to the network. And if I ever need to change those IP addresses, I can simply go into that reservation, change it in one place. And now no matter where that device is, when it connects to the network, it will get the new IP address.